Hey everyone, today I will show you how to get these uh, rechargeable lithium ion batteries for cheap. These are called the 18650 lithium ion battery. And uh, they are very useful and they are used in a lot of uh, devices, including battery packs for uh, uh, tools and uh, vacuums and uh, some flashlights, uh, power banks, uh, laptop batteries and so many other devices so usually when I go to the bin stores I find these uh, laptop batteries sometimes on the one dollar day sometimes on the two dollar day and these usually they have six of these cells inside so that would be six of them for one dollar and if you want to buy one of them online they're usually expensive So today I will disassemble this battery and show you how to get those cells. If you are new to the channel and you enjoy this kind of videos, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell to see all the new videos that I post. So let's get into it. So get something sharp, like a knife, and then find the slot anywhere. Usually I start with this area where the connectors are and then just try to pry it off. And don't worry if you break the case because you're not going to use it anyways after. Once you pry it a little bit, and then you can use a screwdriver to continue. And then just continue prying it along the way. Some of them are uh, sealed tight, so it's more difficult to pry off. Some of them are easier. This one is fairly easy to pry off. So this one got only four of them. And here it says 14.8 uh, volts. So, from the voltage, you can kind of have an idea how many cells will be inside. Some of these, they are 11.1 .1 volts. So, that means there is six of them. So, each uh, three are connected in series and then connected in parallel with another three. So, now all you have to do just remove them sometimes they are glued uh, very hard to the case so you would need to pry them gently so you don't damage the battery because these batteries are uh, sensitive and especially if you poke them or they get hot there is a chance that they might uh, catch fire or explode so you have to be very careful handling these batteries so at this point, I just like to clean up all this mess here. I try to remove all these uh, tapes that are holding the wires to the battery. So after cleaning up all the tape, and then I just start uh, cutting the wires usually there is this uh, sheet of metal here that's spot welded to the battery what i like to do i just like to cut the edge here so i leave a little bit of this uh, metal and then i bend it so i use this piece here if i want to solder 
whilst the wood it's way easier to solder to this metal that's already used but weld it on the battery instead of removing the metal and then try to solder to the battery itself that uh, way is more difficult so I remove all the wires carefully making sure there is no wires that are gonna short together because these batteries can put a lot of uh, power and they're gonna be a spark and might melt the wire as well this is the charging uh, board for the batteries usually I don't uh, use this one but it could come in handy if you want to use it in some other devices you just have to find the connectors here which one is the plus and minus and then you can solder wires to it and use it in different way now the wires are cleaned up now I will start separating the cells and same idea I just cut the connector between them and now the next step is to test these cells to see if they are charged usually I like to use a multimeter to test them usually the wider end is the negative side and the narrower one is the plus side This one is at 3.4 volts, so that's a healthy voltage. It means this battery is healthy. This one is also healthy. So 3.4 is kind of under the average. If the battery is around 3.7 volt, that's the ideal voltage for these batteries. So we're going to try to charge these after and see how much uh, charge they take. This one, same voltage. Okay, that's good. So if the battery is uh, very low, if the voltage is around 0 0.7 or something and some of them if there is no voltage at all that means the battery is completely dead and it's not going to be useful for anything you just have to throw that one so sometimes that happens you get one of these packs and then you get the batteries and for example you have six batteries and two of them are completely dead so you just have to throw those but uh, it's still worth it for one dollar for four batteries instead of buying one of them usually one of them could range between five to fifteen dollars depends on the quality so next I like to use uh, one of these devices to charge uh, lithium-ion batteries So and then I'm just gonna keep these batteries to charge and then when they are fully charged and then I can see here how much the capacity is for each battery and then what I like to do I like to hide the capacity on the battery so I know which ones are uh, the good ones and which ones are kind of doesn't have a lot of uh, capacity left and I can sort them out so there you have it, that's how you get the lithium ion batteries for cheap. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And again, if you are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell. If you want to see what other stuff I got from the bin stores, you can check these videos here, this one and this one. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video.